Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about a few products that I really like using, that I bought fairly recently, some of them are a little bit older, for the skin, for sort of medical things and for the house. Just a few things. Um, it is, what is it, Tuesday, it's raining, I'm in London, the kids are in school, I'm home alone and I'm having this for lunch. It's my favorite smoothie. I posted a recipe before. It's half an avocado, half um, juice from a lemon. There's a bit of cucumber, celery stick, a handful of greens, um, coriander, fresh coriander. What else? A teaspoon of maca powder because that's really good for regulating hormones and also full of ice and coconut water. Blend it and you end up with this and it's really nice it's not sugary just fresh and creamy mm. love that mm -mm -mm. so this summer we were in sweden and of course in sweden they have an enormous problem with uh, ticks it's everywhere and quite a few of them are sort of infected and will spread all sorts to you so we've had this for since I was young so this is nothing new for us here in England in London it is fairly new and I find that a lot of people don't really know about it um, as well as they should uh, because the important thing is to get that out as soon as you can um, so it doesn't, you know, it will deposit its stuff in there. Uh, the sooner you can take it out, the better. Because I know some people here, they find a little shithead and then they wait and then they go to the GP to take it out. I think it's really important that you know how to take it out and, and do it quickly. Um, so my youngest child got one. And that was, he, he got it really, really quickly. And my sister, who's more used to this than me, because she lives in Sweden, uh, she got it out really quickly. I woke up one night and I just felt it was itching. I looked down and under my bra, the little shithead was. And he had made himself really comfy and uh, sort of started to fill up with the blood. So. There wasn't a, the ring thing, but it was red, so when my mom took it out really quickly and she really said to me, you have to take it quickly, because I said, no, let's have coffee first. No, she said, let's take it now. And she's got some really good contraption that you can get in the pharmacy in Sweden. Um, with the, she's got one with a little light and that's really good, because you need like a magnifying glass and a little sort of light and, and just to pull it out. Um, I've got something, I haven't used this, but this is basically also something I got from, from Sweden that you can take out and basically if you use a tweezer you normally sort of press the stomach and then you can press in the, the horribleness into the skin um, so that's why something a little bit more advanced is good so if you go to Sweden or maybe they even have it here I don't know actually um, so take it out at first as soon as you can wash the area really really well so any residue is not there um, get rid of that girl and what I do then is I go to my little homeopathy pharmacy stash that I got I always have these Lyme disease Borrelia uh, little homeopathy pills that I had mixed up from uh, Ainsworth in London and I always travel with them in the summer to Sweden but why am I, why am I talking about this now because it's autumn and they should all be gone now um, but the thing is I if I've been bitten and my thing it became quite red quite a long time it's still actually a little bit red and this was, was one and a half two months ago now uh, so I take these almost a whole year. If also, as soon as anybody's got bitten, I come with, with these. And I don't know if you're familiar with homeopathy, I absolutely adore it. It's worked so well for me and my kids. I use glass straws, I love them. You can put them in the dishwasher, an absolute must for me. Everything has to go in the dishwasher. If it doesn't, I'm reluctant to use it. But mm, these do. I know some people like to use the metal one, but here I can see that there's no yuckiness inside the straw, so that's why I like that. And now to cleaning, my favorite thing to do, or not, 
Uh, no, it's not my favorite thing to do, but obviously, like everyone else, I like when it's clean. And I don't like to use chemical toxic cleaners. Uh, so this one, well, it was gifted to me, so let's make that clear, but it is beautiful. It's basically probiotic cleaner. You get this, this is a concentrate. You open the lid and you put, oh, this is child, child safety, oh god, and me safety. You take basic, you take basically one lid, put it in this spray bottle that you get as well, and then put that in, fill it up with water, and hey presto, it's ready. Is it as easy to clean as with the ordinary bog standard stuff you get from Tesco? No, you need a little bit more elbow grease. Uh, but you basically just say you want to clean this table. You spray, you wait a little bit. Now don't forget to clean that area because that's what I do a lot. I spray and then I do something else and I forget. But spray, wait. Um, a minute or two or so if you can and then wipe it down if you have small kids pets you don't want to use that horrible cleaning stuff your home will be really clean and it's easy to breathe and you don't introduce more toxins into you, your household so I quite like that have you heard of stasher bags they come in a pack like this um, now this is I'm in love with this stuff I got it from Amazon I don't know, half a year ago, my first one, and I absolutely love it. It says it's made from plastic-free silicone, and it has that sort of silicone like feel to it, instead of a plastic bag, and you can re reuse this. And for me, the best thing about it is you can wash it in the dishwasher. So I love that. But something I haven't done with this that you also can do is to cook with it. Uh, I have to try that. But store things in the freezer, in the fridge. Recently I've been using it as a wash bag as well actually and uh, because mine was a bit grubby and I used this and you can wash this and actually you can see what's in there as well without having to open it so that's been working really well. And it closes really well, it doesn't open, you know, it's quite, it sticks together so all good then. And now over to teeth. Finally, I got my Le Bon Rose toothpaste because I know I've shown you another Le Bon one before, but I couldn't get hold of Rose. But now at uh, Fennec, they sell these, and uh, you know I love Rose. So this is basically like you put it on your toothpaste and you brush your teeth, and it's like roses come out of your mouth. <sighs> I cannot begin to tell you how lovely it is. It's natural, it doesn't have fluorides, it doesn't have any nasties in there and um, you use stevia for a sweetener so it has that little sweet smell to it. But it's also minties. And makeup, this. Have you tried it? It is absolutely amazing. CC City and uh, the brand is Madara. Mine is in light. This is like a tinted moisturiser, but you do get a lovely cover. When you were younger, you had really lovely skin and didn't used to have anything on your skin. Uh, but then you're my age and it becomes a little bit more blotchy and you still want to look fairly fresh. Use this because it doesn't feel like a foundation. It is much more soft and, and see-through and light. You still get moisture. So you don't actually have to use a moisturizer underneath because it's that lovely. I'm super into using soap at the moment. This is from a small brand called Liha here in the UK. Taking care of the planet, a bar of soap is so much better. You provide the water, water is not shipped from country to country, from factory to store, from store to you, you provide the water in your shower. It's basically like a concentrate. When I was young we did have soap, soap and water, but then of course the last 20-30 years it's just shower gel. So it comes in this little box so I just put the box just outside my shower and then you just take it out, da -da -da, get clean, put it back. Boom.
Anyway, thank you so much and have a fabulous week and I'll see you next time. Bye!